Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're bringing a little PGA Tour 2K21 action to you today. It's the career of Juan Carne, and we are in the Corn Ferry Tour. Mama's Basement and the PGA Tour are proud to present the Corn Ferry Tour Sand Dune Classic from Scottsdale, Arizona, and the TPC Scottsdale. And we are ready to get round number one underway. Juan Carne on the first tee. 398 yard par four. And our day is underway. Juan splits the fairway to open things up. Second shot. And he puts that one pretty closely. Nice shot there by Juan Carne. And this, eight feet for birdie. Oh, and he just misses it on the inside of the cup. And he'll tap in for a par. So, Liam Bird is tied with Shane Dwyer for the lead at three under. Obviously early in this tournament. Hole number two off the tee. Looks like that one's going to hang on to the right side. And we're going to have 131 yards with an 8 iron. Nice easy swing. And it's going to come up short. And it's going to end up settling in the bottom of that bunker. Third shot out of the bunker for Juan Carney. Oh, and he goes in. What a shot by Juan Carney. He's at one under on the day now as we go to the third. Off the tee. Again, finding the middle of the fairway. It's a par five. Hole number three. Go with our hybrid here. And we just outdrive the fairway a little bit here with that hybrid. Here's our approach. And we get it up on that top tier which is not the place we wanted to be we have a pretty steep downhill putt breaking from right to left and it's going to be pretty hard to judge the speed on this one and that's about as good as you could do i imagine i mean it just trickled up to the hill pretty tough to control the speed coming down the hill but we go back up the hill for a par putt and let's move to number four. Juan Carne off the tee here. It's a par three. This one appears to be fading to the left. And he's on the green, but still has some work to do here on hole number four. This putt breaking from right to left, and it looks like he judged the speed very well leaving just a couple of feet back uphill for the par. Carney through four is at one under as we go to the fifth. 461 yard par four. And that one flirts with the fairway bunker a little bit, but ends up in a pretty good spot for Juan Carney. The approach, it's going to come up a little bit short here. Looks like he should have clubbed up a club. And here is shot number three on the fifth. A chip, he's going to roll that one right up there and leave himself a pretty makeable par putt. It's going to break slightly from right to left. 
and a little bit downhill. But offers no problem for Juan Carne, so we're one under as we move to the sixth. Par four. And this drive might be going right, and it is going to be up on the hilltop there. 163 yards left out of the rough with a seven iron. And we are unable to reach the green. But we should be able to get it right up there with our chip, and we do. So another par save here for Juan Carney, who remains at one under through six. Let's go to the seventh. So far this round, we've liked our consistency. It's been an issue for Juan Carney. He'll hit... Several great shots followed by just some atrocious shots. And trying to get that consistency is what he's going to need to get to the next level. Another chip is going to leave two or three feet here, well, five feet for par. And the par train rolling right along, five pars in a row. And par six out of seven holes. We go to hole number eight. That one's going to settle on the right side of the fairway. 192 yards left. This one looks like it's headed straight at the flag, maybe fading to the right. And short. And for at least the third hole in a row here, we have missed a green in regulation. And we've got a little bit of a more difficult par putt here. And it's just going to break left. And we're going to end up with our first bogey of the day. That's going to bring Juan Carne back to even as we head to the final hole of the first nine. A par four, 463 yards with the driver off the tee. And this one looks pretty dead red down the middle. So we mentioned in round number one, Juan Carney's driver can be really good, but it can also come off the rails every once in a while. Here comes the approach, and that one's going to be in the bunker, it looks like. Yep, sure is. Third shot on hole number nine out of the bunker. And it's going to be one of those in-between putts. Could go either way. And, oh, he just misses it on the inside. It's going to be back-to-back -back bogeys to finish off the front nine. Disappointing for Juan Carney there. Shoots a 36 on the front nine as we make the turn. Let's go to hole number 10. Juan Carne pounding it right down the middle of the fairway. No. He had been up until that point. Like I said, the driver can come off the rails. And this one ends up in that massive bunker. And then out of the bunker, we end up in the rough off the right side of the green. So Juan Carne seems like once things start going bad for Juan... He has a hard time reeling it back in. And he ends up with a par on hole number 10. A nice save there. So we go to the 11th. First shot on the par 4. That one looks like it's in a pretty solid spot for our approach. Shot number two, 177 yards, attacking this one with a seven iron. Playing a little bit of a fade here. And pretty solid approach there. 
Should be an easy two putt for par for Juan Carne. This putt breaking left to right, uphill. Chance for a birdie. And he misjudges the break. And it leaves us a few feet uphill for par. So after a couple of bogeys, we get a couple of pars. Maybe we're back on track here. We go to the 12th. 201 yard par 3 with a 6 iron off the tee. And that one might hang on to the right side. It doesn't. And it's going to be, at least it stayed dry there. So the ball's going to be up above our feet a little bit here. And, oh, what was that? Looks like the club had slowed down through the tall grass. And now we've got some trouble. Another bogey for Juan Carne moves to plus two. On the day, he shot a plus three in the Corn Ferry Tour opener first round. And he's headed for a... Another day on the wrong side of par to start off a tournament. We go to the 13th. It's par 5. Second shot. Not sure where the ball is there. We'll change the view. And it is off the right of the fairway in the tall stuff. And we're going to have a chance here to two putt for par. Here's our birdie opportunity, 16 feet, breaking from right to left. And uphill a little bit, we just don't give it enough. Not enough oomph on that one. Second putt will get us our par, but you hate to par birdieable holes, which a lot of par fives are. And it looks like the driver's gone off the rails a little bit here for Juan Carne. It can get like that. Can't explain it. Second shot here is going to run it up there short of the green. And we're going to have to save another par if we can here. Pretty good approach there. Pretty good third shot. Pretty straightforward putt for par, and it's going to drop. Plus two on the day so far for Juan Carne. We go to the 15th here at TPC Scottsdale. And again, a little bit right of the fairway in that first cut. And now we go with a hybrid. Try to set up our third shot into the green on this par five. And this one heading a little bit to the left and it's gonna be short. So a lot of these approach shots for Juan Carne once again are falling short. And now a chip. Oh, very nicely done. For a par. On the 15th, let's go to the 16th. We've got a par three and then two par fours left. Here is the 16th at the TPC Scottsdale. First shot into the wind, a pretty stiff wind, by the way, blowing into the face of Juan Carne on this hole. But he's gonna reach the green and have a chance for birdie here. This putt will break from right to left and he hits it. Very, very much too soft. Breaking from right to left here and we're gonna end up with a bogey on the 16th. And we move to plus three. Let's go to the 17th, trying to avoid going above plus three. Our drive on the 17th finds the fairway. Inconsistent with the driver, inconsistent with pretty much everything, is Juan Carne at this point in his career.
29 foot putt for birdie. It's going to break a little bit from right to left. And it's going to leave a little bit back uphill for par. All right, one hole left in round number one of the Sand Dune Classic here on the Corn Ferry Tour. First shot on the 18th, trying to fly the lake. And long and true was that drive. Sets up a 168-yard approach with a 7-iron. This one looks good off the club. And it's going to end up left. And it looks like it's in down in the bunker. But a nice shot out of the sand is going to leave us a pretty easy putt for par. Juan Carne finishes round number one, shoots a 74, which ties him for 90th place. The leader is at 8 under, it's Carter Casey, Glenn Paul is at 6 under, and round number two will come up next. We'll see if we can make our second consecutive cut. Here it's the career of Juan Carne on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.